GoCreighton.com here with Creighton Volleyball Head Coach Kirsten Bernthal Booth after a 3-1 victory over Central Florida to start the season. Coach, what a comeback. Uh, first set you got blown out, but after that, three pretty decisive wins. We played a, a really good first match of the season, and not a good first game. I mean, you know, we had three freshmen and a couple other kids that really have never been on the court, and I think that really showed. I really did not think we played a good first game. Central Florida is a great team. That's a, that is a game that could pay dividends come November. Um, I thought our defense was tenacious. We we got a lot of good swings. Um, different people stepped up at different times. Uh, you know, a great start to the season. Tell me about some of those freshmen. You had three on the on the floor to start the match, and all three of them played pretty well, along yeah. with Lizzie Stivers. Yeah. Um, you know, it was funny because Kate Elman's in the Libero spot, and she tanked the first two balls. I mean, it just went right through her hands. Pretty routine digs. And, uh, and then after that, she was golden. You know, it was just a, it was a case of, you know, I'm nervous. It's my first go around. Um, Melanie Jerob's carrying just so much load for our team in the L1 position, offense, passing, service, or uh, defense, and just did a fantastic job. And then Ashley did a great job defensively and, and serving. And then Lizzie's coming in off the bench and uh, scored a lot of points from it for us behind the line. I, f I felt like each of the next three sets, you kind of had a different kid take over. I thought Michelle Sickner did really well in the second set. Leah McNary was unreal in the third set, and, and then in the fourth set, Heather Thorson couldn't be stopped. Uh, what about the production of, of some of those key returners with Megan Bober setting them up? Well, and our, you know, our concern coming into the weekend was our offense. I knew our defense would be pretty good. You know, I, I thought our server seat would be okay. We're very young. Um, but offensively, that was the question, and different players stepped up. You're exactly right. Leah, I thought, had one of her best matches. Um, and you're right, at different games, she just dominated things. Our, um, you know, Heather, Heather and Megan have played together for a long time. You can see the trust that Megan has in, the, in Heather. She just finds spots for her, and Heather's just one of the craftiest players ever. And then Michelle's offense was good, but where Michelle really was fantastic was the block. We knew uh, UCF had great outsides, and, you know, Michelle's and Natalie are both going to be right side hitters for us probably for the fall and we felt like we needed Michelle's blocking in this match and she definitely stepped up. And then my last question, I know you take a lot of pride in winning those close sets and the second set, the four, or the, the, I'm sorry, the last two sets were both, you know, 21-21, 22-22 and you guys pulled away late in both. You know, and it wasn't anything that, that I did. The team just, you know, I think that's leadership. That's a that's a senior, a fifth-year senior running the show offensively, making the right decisions, knowing who to trust at, at go time. And um, But the thing that's huge is that we've got a young team and they were able to do that, that they handled their nerves. And I thought one one games, you know, if they got an opportunity to take a good swing, they did it as compared to waiting for the other team to lose. All right, thanks and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.